Hello. In this video, we're going to take some wood that looks a bit like bacon and turn it into a guitar top. So, uh, lacking the appropriate tools to do it myself, <laughs> and I don't really want to stick down about 20 planks of wood individually to go out with the router, I'm going to go at it with a belt sander. But first, I need to remove what I assume is a safety feature. So we have a selection of boards, which I now need to um, work out which ones I'm going to put together for the top. I'm not going to um, kind of make sure they're flat entirely until after I've jointed them, which may be a mistake, but that's just the way I'm going to go. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I'm lazy. I don't want the way I'm going to have to join edges is to tape a straight edge to it and then run it along a router and there's hundreds of them <laughs> i just don't want to do that um <clears throat> if i had a jointer or even a table saw then i'd probably consider that as a better method but anyway so what i think i'm going to do is look for the most interesting sides so like this boring interesting More interesting, but not. So let's just work through these. This seems to be the most hideous, gnarly selection I can find. I love how the grain just transitions almost from one side of the board to the other. Okay, decision made. We are going to have to lose some of this one because there are screw holes down the side. So I put a slightly boring one at the end. It's not a boring one. Um, just in case it all gets reduced too much. Here we go. So I've numbered it so it makes it easy for me to remember in and out on the router. Except it's not going to be in and out, it's going to be up down. Huh. One second. If you think I should be able to remember that, you've never met me. Okay. I've got my chunky um, half inch spiral bit in to do this. There's like a quarter inch one for comparison. Uh, so it should get a nice smooth edge. So here's how it's going to go. This says D for down. So and this goes down against the bench. And then put the, the known flat edge the flat swing I've got and then I would tape it down using some very good tape and there we have a flat edge so this piece and all the other pieces I'm gonna to have to do this side up and then this side down So we've done the upside, we now need to do the downside, but one thing I've neglected to mention <coughs> is I need to make sure it's square, so I need to measure a common distance between the two sides. Okay, well now we do actually have enough material just to use five of them. So I have made an executive decision to skip this one in here. And then we can use two to six. Thank you, one. You bet you might make an interesting fretboard. So this is going to be a glue up of two parts. No, two directions. Squeezing them together, but also down on top of each other. So I've got three calls 
which I made sure it was flat first and taped up, which will have a matching one on top. And then we're going to go in from sides with other normal pressure. That's the idea. It may work. I may be in tears. No idea what the camera caught of that. <laughs> but we are clamping in two directions now. Some cardboard so I don't ruin the router table. All right, ready for the magic? Any worries ahead, which was quite a few, about, <laughs> about the glue joints coming together, seeing as I hadn't actually leveled the boards, was unfounded. Excellent. I'm going to need to sand that down, get it closer to the shape, then surface it, and then stick it on the guitar. There are a few chips around the perimeter. That's fries if you're an American. There, here's one or two. Um, so I need to like maybe skim off a millimetre of here before gluing something down to it. And then I also need to remove the width of this from that. Except I need to do it from the underside, because <laughs> if I just take take off from the, there, then I've gained nothing. Okay. To the surfacing jig. So a little bit about this uh, body blank I bought. Last year I needed a template for a SG style guitar that I was going to play with. They were quite expensive and I saw this body for much less than any of the templates, so I bought it. Problem was, it came in like a plastic bag, and there was like a massive chunk here I've had to repair. And the worst thing was, this horn had just come off completely. I didn't mind for the purposes of just making a template from it, but that's not going to be good enough for making a guitar. <laughs> um, I think what I might do is to maybe mirror this side to here. And have a short horn on both sides and just see if that misses that or come up with something like that anyway but first i'm going to kiss the top of here no tongues to make it flat and then reduce the bottom half which would conveniently get rid of this chip by the size of the top So I've knocked off the kind of trenches. <clears throat> I've knocked off the trenches and lines with a very flat sanding block. I didn't want to do it with a orbital sander because I'd run the risk of uh, rounding over the edges. So now that side's done, that would be the glue face. I then need to take the material off the back. Do you know what? I might do that after I've glued the top on. So I think next I'm going to level the top. Oh, for a drum sander. See what it looks like anyway. That's the underside there. <laughs> I'm just making sure the dust is gone. Ready for the glue up. Well, I think before gluing it, I want to get it. Um, before gluing it, I want to make it the shape of the SG. 
so I can get the clamps around the edges and squeeze down there. So that's probably enough for one video. Um, we have the top nicely made and leveled. It's going to go on the guitar, but first I need to establish the shape of the guitar and then cut this closer to that. Don't panic about this knot because that's just going to completely disappear when we route the neck cavity pocket hole thing. Thanks for watching this far. See you next time. Thank you.